Breaking news, my wonderful people. Yes, on Wiki finally opens up. Speaks says why he and other PDP leaders pulled out of Wiki campaign team. Let him do it alone if he feels that was he wants to do. Wiki has, you know, has continued to spray out the warning sign to Atiku, but Atiku, you know, as he is, has refused to listen to anybody. Okay, he's refused to listen to anybody. He's said that um, he needs this man to win. And that this man is his winning, winning formula and is going to ensure that, you know, he stays with him. You know, so this is the beginning. This is the beginning of beginnings. And as you can see, things are not the same. Yes, all that glitters is no good. All things are not the same. Right about now, you can see for yourself some of the things that are prevailing, that are affecting us all as a people and as a nation. Let's get all the details. People who are not trustworthy, who cannot be depended upon. Why Wiki, other PDP leaders, pulled out of Atiku's campaign team? Governor Yeson Wiki of River State and his team in the People Democratic Party in the IE Must Go move pulled out of the campaign council of the party presidential candidate Halaji Atiku Abubakar. This was disclosed in a meeting held at the country home of Wiki in Port Harcourt the last Tuesday night. The leader of the party are in the move for Ayn's resignation, however, vowed not to partake in, in Atiku's campaign activity pending the resignation of the party national chairman, IHIE. The party stewards who shared in Wiki's vision maintained that there would be no support for Atiku until Ayn vacates the number one office of the party to allow for another chairman from the southern part of the country to occupy that position. This very man has not done anything to honor and to respect the people's opinion. The aggrieved stewards, which comprises the founding members of the party, sitting governors, former ministers, and other leaders of the party made their position known in resolution read by a former deputy national chairman of the party, Chief Olabode George. George, who read the resolution of the group, said they were deeply concerned about the division of PDP despite the party's age-long internal mechanism designed to guarantee inclusiveness. George said, we resolve that we are deeply concerned by the division in our party. We are aware that, uh, that over the years our party has developed conflict resolutions mechanism that guarantee inclusiveness. The published presidential campaign council list translates to putting the cart before the horse and issues remain unresolved to the leadership, which is departure from I must resign as the national chairman of the party for an acting chairman from the southern Nigeria to emerge and lead the party on the national campaign. Consequently, we resolve not to participate in the campaign council in whatever capacity until the resignation of Dr. Ainichi Ai. Also, a former Plateau State Governor, Senator Jonathan Jar claimed that Ai had a bad referee who assisted who assisted one side to score a goal in a football match and later blew the whistle on the other. He's not a good person. He accused Ai of, comp of compromising the May 28 and 29 presidential primaries of the party through his conduct. He said Ai is not a man who could be the party number one's leader in terms of chairman. The governor, Aminu Tabua, calling him the hero and the of the convention meant there was a private arrangement that has been done between Tabua to shortchange other contestants, including Yusum Wiki. They know exactly what they are doing. So you see, when we talk, we need to be careful because what you are saying now, what you're doing, okay, is beginning to come out and uh, you don't know how somebody else will, will say it or interpret it. Uh, Tiku, who knows the constitution of the party, has refused to allow anyone, okay, or to allow truth to manifest itself. 
Atiku would rather stay with Ain, and why? I don't understand. Because Ain is no good. So I don't understand what he meant by Ain must not go. Okay, so these are some of the things that have continued to trail and continue to cause real serious problem because the man who you thought, okay, the man who you thought was for someone who Nigerians will depend upon, you know, to dispense truth has now become the very, you know, the very person who, uh, who is destroying the fundamental and everything that has to do with truth. So whether you like it or not, there is real cause for concern. Okay. So it is what it is. Okay. Whether you like it or not, we need to begin to ask ourselves some serious questions. Do we trust Atiku to hand over the keys of this nation to him? Do we? Do we trust him that much to hand over the keys of this nation to him? Can we, you, 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 can we do that? Can we do that? Can we, can we really leave? Can we really give up? You know, can we really do that? Can we give up our nation and give it to somebody who cannot even respect the discussion he has had with his colleague? Then how do you believe he's going to in any way from a kind? Okay. How do you believe or how do you think, you know, how do you ever think he's going to honor Nigerians? How do you ever think he's going to honor Nigerians? How do you ever think he's going to honor Nigerians? If he cannot, okay, if he cannot, you know, respect just the slightest thing, how is he going to stand with Nigerians and say the truth? Can you see? Can you see that, you know, we are in for a serious, you know, the, the issues before us are very serious. There's no reason for us to continue to pretend to ourselves. Hmm? And he refused to go. It's affecting Wiki. We'll see how Wiki will turn out with all of this. We'll see how, you know, he will turn out with all of this. We'll see what he will do and what the consequences of what he will do, how those actions will play out. Remember, you have a voice. None of us must continue so keep quiet and pretend that everything is going well. None of us must continue to, you know, to pretend that all is going well. Remember, you have a voice. So let us speak out against everything and anything that has held us bound. God bless. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. For most, it's bye for now. Remember, you have a voice. Okay? Please, let's vote for the right candidate. Every time. All the time. Bye.